in the wake of heightened conflict between Israeli forces and various Palestinian militia groups in the Gaza Strip. The United States, as part of a significant military aid escalation to Israel, discreetly provided 100 BLU, 109 bunker buster bombs, weighing 2,000 pounds each, for use in the ongoing hostilities. This revelation, disclosed by American officials speaking anonymously to outlets like the Wall Street Journal, unveils a covert arms shipment totaling around 15,000 bombs sent to Israel in the past two months. These bunker buster bombs play a crucial role in targeting and neutralizing fortified underground positions held by Hamas and other Palestinian militias. While less fortified than those encountered in the 2006 conflict with Hezbollah, they still pose challenges for destruction from the air. The controversial supply of high payload bombs has drawn international scrutiny, especially outside the Western world. Critics, including international observers, accuse Israeli forces of war crimes and, in extreme cases, genocide against the Palestinian population in the Gaza Strip. Israel's pursuit of advanced bunker buster bombs from the United States spans over two decades. In 2005, the request for GBU 28 hard target penetrators was denied by the George W. Bush administration. However, in 2009, the Obama administration, under high secrecy, approved deliveries sending 55 bombs that year. Concerns arose in Washington about potential misinterpretation by Iran, perceiving the deliveries as a green light for Israel to attack. In contrast to the larger and exclusive GBU-28, 5,000 pounds, the recently supplied BLU-109 is more widely deployed by US-lined states in the Middle East, including Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. Israel faced significant challenges in 2006 against Hezbollah's underground network constructed with North Korean expertise. The Gaza Strip's tunnel network, less fortified due to an Israeli blockade and varied soil types, presents a comparatively softer target. Looking ahead, the US military's potential encounters with heavily fortified targets extend beyond the current conflict. Key military facilities in China and North Korea, deeply situated under mountains, may require the use of massive 30,000-pound GBU-57 massive ordnance penetrators, exclusive to strategic bombers like the BL-2 Spirit. Additionally, multiple variants of the B-61 tactical nuclear bomb, optimized for neutralizing deeply fortified positions, possess warheads over 20 times as powerful as those